Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is a tutorial of installing mods for the PC version of Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator Mark II. I'll link the original video I did, tutorial video of how to install mods. A lot of people are still having problems so I thought I would revisit it and be more thorough in this video. So installing mods like this Boeing FA18 here is a user made mod. As you can see, that's the official one, and you can see how amateur that looks. But that's a, a user-made one that I just stuck in my community folder. I'm going to show you how to do that. That's another user-made um, mod. Uh, Maverick, if you're watching, I will get around to reviewing this glider. I'll try and shove it in with a couple of other freeware aircraft, just to make the video more full. But I will get around to that. But that's another one that I've just put into my community folder. And even the Spitfire. Now, I got a review copy of the Spitfire from Flying Iron. So it wasn't done by the from the marketplace or I, an EXE file. I had to put the actual folders into my community folder to get it to work. I'm going to show you how to do that and things like liveries and also talk about th through with you thoroughly of how to locate better your community folder and how to install EXE mods and that type of thing. Okay, let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that people have a lot of trouble with is locating your community folder for Flight Simulator 2020 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to show you where mine is. This is on my laptop, remember? So I'm going to be on a very similar playing field to a lot of people who have the Steam version, at least, of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have the store version, I'll put down below in the description the default location of both the Steam and the Microsoft Store version, in fact. But I'll show you on mine. Like I said, I'm going to be in a very similar playing field to a lot of people who have it, who have the Steam version of Sim Flight Simulator installed because I've only got one hard drive in this laptop so far. So I'll show you where mine is. Mine's on C. So double click into C. Then from C, double click into users. And then click on your name. When you set your laptop up or computer up, you should have a name it was set up with. My first name is James, so mine's obviously James. If you don't have a name set up, you just have default and public. It'll be in default, but you should have some kind of name set up. So I'm going to click in James. So C, double click in C, Users and James. Then from here, go to App Data. Looks like it's greyed out a little bit, but App Data. Into Roaming. Then obviously into Microsoft Flight Simulator. And last one, into Packages. Hey presto, there's my community folder. So if I want to install user-made knobs, uh, <laughs> I'll keep that in. User, <laughs> user-made mobs. <laughs> Dear me, let's try that again. User-made mods. My goodness, that was uh, that was a slip, wasn't it? <laughs> you would stick them straight into your community folder. Again, I'll show you that without any any slip-ups this time. So. Double click onto your C drive. If you've installed Flight Simulator, you've got a couple of drives, C and D, for example, and you've installed it into D. Obviously, click into the D drive instead in Steam, if that's where your Steam games are involved or your store games are installed. So mine's, like I said, I've only got one hard drive, so double click into C. Just going to show you again. Into Users, C Users, your name. Obviously, not my, not James, unless your name is James. C users James, app data, roaming, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then into packages. 
And hey presto, that's where my community folder is. I'll put the mods inside of there. Okay, so on my hard drive, on my one hard drive, on my laptop, I've got a few mods here, community mods and even commercial mods. First thing I'm going to do is talk about the commercial ones, the source of EXE. Now, this is the uh, functional aircraft carrier. I'll link my review of this in the top right. But this comes in form of an EXE, so it wants you to install it slightly differently. Let's talk about this one first, because many of these will be similar. So I'm just going to double click into it. Is it going to hang or is it going to go? There we go. And first, what you may do, it may say, where would you like the module to be installed, not the actual... Now, this can be confusing. This is the actual front end. This comes with a front end and the mod itself. This part is pertaining to the front end, basically. I don't know this because I've installed it. So that will do. C program files, HDS carrier module. Yep. And then it will say, in order to install a carrier, you must select your community folder. Here it gives the default paths. This second one here, I guess there's different default paths for the Steam version. Because there are two different ones. that You've got a top one there. But this second one is where mine is. This is where the store is. I'm going to link this down in the description, like I've mentioned. But mine's the Steam. So you... for this module, I'll have to click Browse. Click on C, just like I showed you before. I can open that up. Users. Open this tab up. I'll just double click in Users. JH. J. Hoddison. There we go. I'm in JH. App data. Just like I showed you before how to locate your community folder. Roaming. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Packages. And it should be there. There we go. Okay. That's where my community folder is. Click on Next. Don't want a desktop icon. Click on next. Install. Now, these are going to be different, the EXE files. Some, I've had one, I think it was Concord, that seemed to know the location of my community folder on my main PC. It may be different for this laptop if I try and install it on this one, which I will do at some point. They're going to be slightly different. So there you go. Launch carrier module. What will happen is the front end will launch. Oh, I'm not going to activate it now, for example, but you, I need to activate this to make it work. That will be with your license where you buy it from. This was from FlightSim.com. It was a review copy. But then I would launch Flight Simulator and then just click on Connect. They're going to be different for each module you install. But that's typically how you would install EXE modules. Okay, so let's get on to the main bane of contention for a lot of people. How to stick user-made mods into your community folder. So people seem to be having a lot of difficulty with this. So what I'm going to do here, you can see this. I'll link the video I did of the two-bar pushback in the top right. People were having trouble installing this one. And this is a good example. I've got to put this into my community folder. comes in a compress zip file when you download it. And a lot of these do. So what you just do, I've not got WinZip installed on the laptop even. So I'm just going to extract all. It will do the same thing. Yeah, it will extract it into this folder, into that, into this folder, temp install files. And there we can see we've got now got this file folder. The trouble is with this, be careful. Some of these mods, you would have the top folder and then another folder inside it. You want to put the folder that contains things like sim objects or data or these types of things, all these files, you want to install that folder into your community folder, not the very top folder, because that top folder contains this folder. Then you've got to double click into it again to get into all the files for the mod. So just create base, just copy basically the second folder inside the main folder if it comes like that. If it doesn't, some of, some of these files, for example, the FA-18, it's just a top folder. And it's got all the, the, these are the files for the mod. So I just need to copy that top folder into my community folder. Hope that makes sense. So not this, in this case, not the very top folder, but the second folder, which contains all the files. Copy that. So I'm going to copy it. And then we'll go to this PC. I'm going to show you again where my community folder is. 
rewind the video back to near the beginning if you want to see me go through this slowly. But it's in my C drive. It's in users. James. <laughs> Voice went a bit up there, didn't it? App data. Roaming. And again. <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator. Packages. And community. And I'll just go right click paste. Now I've got my community folder up. Let's stick a couple more things in there, shall we? My livery again. This is actually linked on my Discord. Link to the Discord down below. It's not the top folder I want to copy. It's this second folder, which contains the sim objects and all the files I need. So I'll copy that. Hope this makes sense. Rewind the video if you need to rewatch that. And I'll copy that into my community folder and show you that working. Let me see. Community folder. Oops, no, I want to stay in my community folder. There we go. I'm back in my community folder now. This folder I want to get into, where I've got my temporary install files. Might as well copy the F18 across. And, well, I've showed you this before. I've uninstalled them since showing you at the beginning in the instruction. So what I'll do is copy the Spitfire, because I believe that's the top folder. Yep. The Spitfire and the F18. Oh, actually, no. FA-18 and the glider. Let me just make sure. See that glider? See, I've got to be careful. I almost copied the top folder. That's a case in point. I don't want to copy this folder. I want to double click into it. Check it's this folder I want to copy because that contains all the sim objects and goodness knows what. So just be careful there. So I'll copy that and paste that into my community folder. So I'm doing this with you. With hopes, if you're having trouble, just follow this example, depending what mods you want installed. And the FA-18. There we go. Copy. Because basically, since I did the intro, I took them back out just to show you how I put them back in again. And FA-18. So what I'm going to do now is relaunch Flight Simulator, and hopefully all those files should be in my Flight Simulator. Okay, so in Flight Sim, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, or something of that sort. Let's go to World Map. Now, you can see I've got my Cessna 172 selected. I installed the Hudson livery. Let's just see liveries into my community folder. Yeah, you can see it's working. This is linked on my Discord, by the way, the files for this, if you want it. Ace is down one, created that for me. I'm going to link his channel if I've got room in the top right there, so you can peruse his videos. He's got some great videos up. So there you go, that's fine. Let's just see. Yeah, I've got the glider installed. That's the one I put into my community folder. And the FA-18, this is the user-made one. Very amateur one, but it's installed as well. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set off from London City Airport, set his departure in the Cessna 172 with the Hudson livery. Let's see if the toolbar pushback has installed properly. Okay, so there you go, on runway 9 at London City Airport. Yep, there's my Hudson livery. Two bar pushback, there should be an extra icon at the top if it's installed properly, it has. Click on that, if I was at a gate, I could push back, I'm not at a gate. And if I push back now, the pushback truck would have to travel towards me, that would take a long time. And of course I don't push back on a runway. So there you go. That's a tutorial of how to install mods in Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, for the PC version, Mark II. Hopefully this time this has helped you more than the original video. I know people were still having problems. But do let me know your thoughts. If you're having trouble installing mods, you're best heading to the Discord. There's lots of people who can help you there. I'm not always available because of work and goodness knows what. And if I'm not working, I'm doing other stuff. Not always available to look into every specific case. But if you go to Discord, pretty much 99% of the people have had answers or are helped in there. So head there if you're still having problems. Do let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a like if it's been helpful. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you very soon.